Hello my brothers and sisters. I want to make this quick message for you guys. It's just basically a parable from the scriptures. And it's called the parable of the wicked. The biggest message that I want to send out to you guys is um, how we're broken. And if we're not broken, we're just going to be made dust. You know, because the Lord, the righteousness of God will fall upon us and will consume us. So, first and foremost, I want to thank God that He has saved our souls and given us of His Holy Spirit. And we're sealed. And we're practicing righteousness. We're walking in the light with the Lord Jesus Christ, doing those things which are pleasing to Him. So, I'm going to read this parable to um, let you guys know my point and why I'm saying why the title of this video is we're broken. Many of us we know that we grow inside our own, inside our own bodies like we want our, we want our redemption. We want our salvation to be made manifest in you know in the fullness we're gonna have a full uh, perfect body. So the, the title of this video is the parable of the wicked tenants. Uh, then began he to speak to the people this parable. A certain man planted a vineyard and let it forth to husbandmen and went into a far country for a long time. And at the season he sent a servant to the husbandman, that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the husbandman beat him, and sent him away empty. And again he sent another servant. And they beat him also, and entreated him shamefully, and sent him away empty. And again he sent a third. Well, he sent a third, the grace of God. He sent a third, and they wanted him also, and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? You know, so this is basically just talking about all the prophets, all the messengers, you know, that God sent into the nation of Israel, but they wiped them out, they killed them. You know, all the prophets, most prophets were killed. And they said, They said the Lord to the vineyard, What shall I do? So this is when it comes down to the wrath of God. He says, I will send my beloved son, but this time is salvation, his grace. I will send my beloved son, it may be. And they will reverence him when they see him. But when the husbandmen saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is their heir. You know, come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. That what? And killed him. What therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen, and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, God forbid. So here we say, we see the Lord Jesus coming to the earth, dying on the cross for our sins. They killed him, they thought they beat him up, they, they were uh, uh, victorious against us. the devil thought, you know, for a reason, he was going to stop God, but he did it. God came to the earth, he defeated sin on the cross, he lived holy for us, he died on the cross holy for us, hallelujah. Praise be to the Lord of heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. So by believing in the Lord Jesus Christ right now, you can have an eternal life, everlasting life, you can have an, inter an, an, an inheritance in the kingdom that is to come, because today, if you're a son of God, who have the Holy Spirit, you are working in His vineyard, spreading His word. Praise be to the Lord, to the Lord heaven. But this is the point of this video that I'm going to read right now. And He beheld them, the Lord Jesus beheld them, and said, What is this then that is written? The stone with the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken. We're broken, my friends. We fell on that stone. We're broken, my friends. Praise be to the, Lord, to the Lord heaven. But check this out. But on whosoever he shall fall, he will grind him to powder. Praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. We know in the scripture that God is going to set up his kingdom on top of the, the ashes and the destruction of the wicked. That's what's going to happen. The rock of offense is going to fall on them. It's going to annihilate them. It's going to destroy them completely. You know, thanks be to the Lord God for this beautiful blessing. I'm going to read it again. Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken. We're broken. We're broken. Prepared for salvation. For our salvation to be made manifest. To have our bodies redeemed from this body of sin and corruption. Play, praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. But on whosoever he shall fall, he will grind them to powder. I don't want to be powder. You don't want to be powder either. So... Right now, if you take this minute, if you're if you're not a Christian and you're watching this video, please, we're reading Romans 10, 9, 9, 10, that if you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that God the Father has raised His Son from the dead, from the grave, the Bible says you will be saved. That God the Father has raised His Son from the dead, you will be saved if you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart the Lord Jesus Christ, that He's the only begotten Son of God, you will be saved. The Lord Jesus came to the earth. He lived holy. He died on the cross holy. He was buried. 
He resurrected the third day, conquering sin and death for you. If you believe the record, the Bible says you're saved. God bless you guys, and thank you so much for watching this video. We're broken. Thanks be to the Lord Jesus Christ that we're broken. We don't want to, certainly we don't want to be grinded to powder. God bless you guys.